planet that will make history. Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through a window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survival. I watch it every day in the hospital. The camp doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers too. Say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. I love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had a few people whine about guns that kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from bullets. You can die from cardiac arrest, or organ failure, or major hemorrhage. Or small people, that ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun to take my own home. Yeah. Car. I ain't heard of it. Guns in America. You know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't America. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about that. We all know you can't work up in China. It's always pushing. Works whole lot. You play the lottery. Now the state wants to pay taxes on the money you win from that stuff. You buy your own lottery tickets. Oh, hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, lad. <laughs> oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, lad. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's very really good. It's rather worrying. When I was a boy, I had a man. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. Well, well, I'm sure. But the thing is that when, when, when I was a old boy, I, 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 I get the fact that that is that is the fact that now, now, Betty, when Betty told me, get the fact. Well, the child psychologist can probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. I'm, I'm, I'm through what, man? How old is your son? Excuse me? How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand it at the back. Betty needs a nut. All right, that's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. It's you the reward. Yeah, yeah. I got all your own defense needs.
you want a license too? I don't need it's any ID. You look trustworthy. Bang, yo, bang! devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the venue at your house of tomorrow, and
If you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy, ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo. I always wanted to call in. Senor, not pimping. I save, I give the fashion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy, because for my people, we take these insults very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio, you Mr. Who Cut Up My Tongue. <laughs> Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am, um, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W uh, where in Latin? I do not need to listen to these insults. I have a calling. Many are called, but you are chosen, my friend. Get your, get your, get your eyes <laughs> Like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from the stage manager, Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to the Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about spanking. Oh, God, not another one. I think spanking is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will be make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I need you to understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He once hit me so hard my sleeve fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now, I'm the best pest control guy in East Portland. I've killed more rats, roaches, monkeys, and I'll love you. 